Welcome to Biorad's Blackboard Training. This is a series of short informal tutorials brought to you by industry experts. Today we'll cover a powerful tool, Biorad's patented Yunt chart. The chart was developed by one of the clever scientific fellows here at Biorad, John Yunt Pachenko. By the way, we just call him JYP for short. The Yunt chart compares the laboratory's bias and imprecision to another graph against data set. I love it when a product can do something very complicated but make it look simple. I believe this is a core concept of good design. This is why I'm so excited about this tool. Yunt charts take multiple complicated concepts and break the information down into two basic design elements, a circle and a line. It all starts with circles. There are circles on the chart for each level of control. Notice that they look different. Let's learn what each different circle can tell us. Ideally, when I look at the chart, I'd like to see a circle with a black dot in the middle. Thinking of this shape as a donut is a good memory aid. Donuts make people happy, and seeing this on your chart will make you happy. This tells me that we're not just keeping up with the Joneses, but I'm doing better. My relative CV is less than that of my comparison group. The size of the inner circle relative to the outer one also provides information. The smaller the inner circle, the better our lab is doing. By analogy, I'm better off with more donut and less hole. I begin to become a little concerned if I see a gray circle like this on my chart. Gray is a sad color, so when I see this, I just want to draw a sad face. I'm concerned because the solid gray circle indicates that my relative coefficient of variation, or CV, for that level of control is the same for my lab as it is for the comparison group. My individual CV should be smaller than the group CV. Things aren't bad, but I am becoming concerned. A black circle with a white dot in the middle does not make me happy. I think of this as an old tire, and nobody wants an old tire laying around. This tells me I'm not doing as well as the comparison group. My CV is higher than theirs. I might need to take some corrective action. So to review, control levels that look like donuts are good. Levels that are gray might make me sad and concerned. Levels that look like old tires might be bad. In this example, I have a donut shape for all three levels of control. So I'm doing fine. Note that I have more donut at level three than at level one. The other important graphic element on a Yunt chart is the line. Now some might argue that keeping on the straight and narrow is the key to a good life. I don't know about that, but I do know that the straight and narrow is the key to a good Yunt chart. First, let's focus on the straight. The connecting line on the chart shows a test system's linearity. For the test to be linear, the connecting line should be completely vertical. A bent or sloping line indicates that the test is not behaving the same across different specimen levels. It's experiencing problems with its linearity. The degree to which the line is bent or angled is relative to the amount of linearity distortion. Remember, you have to stay on the straight and the narrow. We know about the importance of the straight, so now let's look at the narrow. The horizontal x-axis of the chart is the mean plus or minus 3 SDI. The lower a level's SDI, the circles will appear closer to the mean. Remember, the SDI is a measurement of bias, and a value greater than plus or minus 1 indicates a possible problem with that test. In this example, notice that the SDI is low. Therefore, the distance between levels 1 and 3 is narrow. If the value is greater than plus or minus 2, then the test is experiencing problems, and corrective action should probably be taken. In this example, you can see that the relative distance between levels 1 and 3 is widening. Remember that narrow, not wide, is the goal. The position of the line also provides information. The closer the line is to the center, the better. This indicates that my lab is getting what the peer group is getting. If the line is off to the left, I'm lower than everybody. If the line is off to the right, I'm higher than everybody. I encourage you to take a look at Biorad's patented Yent charts. If you keep on the lookout for donuts, sad circles, and old tires while staying on the straight and narrow, I'm sure you'll enjoy the benefits of this powerful tool.